When we last left off, all the blocks had been dropped off and set out ready to be laid. People had told me that the laying process would be quick, but I didn't think it would be so quick. Within a few hours, two walls were already up, and by the start of day two, they were all done. The technique that they used to butter the block seemed to make all the difference. They would pick up a block and with a couple swipes of the trowel have both sides loaded up with the correct amount of mortar. It was pretty amazing to watch. Later that day, two trucks arrived, one for the concrete and the other to pump it. The walls were getting core filled, so that meant they would be filled from the bottom to the top with a very wet concrete mix. One truck would pump concrete into the hopper of the second truck, and then a guy would lift a hose up to the top of the wall, and the concrete would get pumped in. This whole process took a couple of hours. Talking to the builder, we worked out that there was around 30 tons of concrete in these walls. That might not sound like a lot until I tell you that the engineer estimated that my entire house upstairs came in at around 20 tons, mainly because it was built out of wood. In the words of one of the truck drivers, I've basically created a bunker. By the end of day two, everyone had left and over the next couple of days, people came around to collect all their tools and skips. Well, that was a very long month. Um, obviously in building terms, four weeks is not a long time, but I was hoping to be further along. And to be honest, you know, I enjoy doing a lot of the work myself, so just having to sit back and watch other people do everything, yeah, that, that's, that's not something I enjoy. So right now, besides the fact that I need to have the windows installed, those are getting custom made, real thick glass, they, they're going to be pretty insane. Other than that, everything else is now in my hands, so there's, there's still a lot of jobs that need to be done but I can take care of them. The next two jobs are gonna be the doors on either end, and by the time those go in, the windows should also be in. So at that point, this room will be secure. I can bring all of my tools back down. And the second thing is to go around and block in all the gaps between the joists. Um, any places that have tiny gaps, I'm gonna use expanding foam to, to take up that space. And I need to go around with a, a fine tooth comb and find all small gaps because that's where the sound is going to leak out. All right, well that brings us to the end of this video. Um, as you can see, I now have a, a husk of a workshop. It's, it's, yeah, it's so good to be at this spot because it feels like now, now we can really turn this into a workshop. It's not just a building site. Super excited.